Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin Hindi laging nandyan dapat mong harapin Kami iyong kasama sa bawat takin Magkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at nararapat Kagandahang nasal ang ipakita Ipadama ang pusong may malasakit Dito sa Fernandino Ating harapin ng walang takot Sasamahan ka ni Fernan At dino ang bagong barkada mo Fernandino Tint TV Nan, anong pinapanood mo? Nanonood ako ng balita, Fer. Nanonood rin ako ng balita sa TV, pati na rin sa internet. Sakto. Tungkol sa mga balita ang ituturo sa atin ni Ma'am sa Fernandino Tint TV ngayon. Nasa na nga ba si Dino? Baka nakatutok na si Dino sa Fernandino Tins TV. O tara, Nan. Panoorin na natin si Ma'am para matuto na tayo. G? G! Hi! Welcome to Fernandino Tins TV. How are you doing today? I pray that you are doing well and staying safe, happy, and healthy amidst the global pandemic that we are still in right now. By the way, I am Ma'am Elaine, your English teacher lecturer from Northville High School. Also, I would like to tell you that I am happy and thankful to be with you here to help you learn something new. I hope that you are as excited as I am for our discussion today. Our main goal for today is to distinguish among text types of journalistic writing such as news report, opinion article, feature article, and sports news article. To be able to do that, you must first learn how to define journalistic writing, reflect on the importance of journalistic writing in one's daily life, and identify what makes an event newsworthy. Before we start the discussion, I would like you to look at these pictures that I got from the Facebook page of the City of San Fernando City Information Office. Do you know anything about these pictures? If you do, you may type down your ideas in the comment section. 
What do you see in the pictures? What are they about? You are correct. These pictures tell us about the vaccination rollout led by the City Health Office to the Fernandina senior citizens belonging to the priority group under the A2 category to the A3 category or those individuals with comorbidities. Currently, CHO is planning and re-strategizing for more effective and simultaneous administration of vaccines to Fernandinos. If you got any correct answer or idea about the pictures, you did a great job. Please continue to participate as we go on. Now that we know what the pictures are all about, let us analyze them by answering some questions. You may help me in answering these questions by again typing your answers down in the comment section. The first question is, what kind of events do the pictures represent? Correct! These are current events or events that happen in the present. Now that we have established that the pictures represent current events, let us move on to question number two, which is, Are the current events shown in the two pictures important to the public? Why or why not? What do you think? These events are important to the public because they involve public health, safety, and security. Great work! For the last question, do all events deserve to be featured in different news platforms? Why or why not? Oops! We will answer this question later when we go to the definitions of journalism and journalistic writing and the elements that make an event newsworthy. As you saw on the goals of our lesson, the discussion will focus on journalistic writing. Not too long ago, in the pre-internet days, people had limited options for accessing the news. Daily news came in the form of newspapers or television news programs, while the less urgent stories could be found in magazines or weekly newspaper supplements. Nowadays, we have instant 24-7 access to any type of news in any format thanks to the internet. Despite this dramatic change, the style and principles that guide journalistic writing have remained largely unchanged. When you hear the word journalism or journalistic writing, what words or phrases do you associate with them? Check out this picture that I got while reading about journalistic writing. The following are words that are associated with our topic for today. News, newspapers, television programs, live news, flash reports, current events, editorial, feature, pictures, article, columns, publications, magazines, information, media, mass media, and business. What other words did you see in the picture? Share them to me and to our viewers by commenting in the live stream. Now that you have an idea about journalism, it is time to define formally and operationally what journalism and journalistic writing are. Let us begin with journalism. Journalism originated from the Latin word diurna, which means daily. This is primarily the reason why newspapers, the traditional form of journalism, are published daily. According to Merriam Webster's Dictionary, journalism is the collection and editing of news for presentation through media. The media here are the different platforms in which news about current events are published. Moving on, Fraser F. Bond, on the other hand, defines journalism as all events that happen in the world that holds interest to the public. This definition tells us the answer to the question, 
Do all current events deserve to be featured in different news platforms? Why or why not? Not all events that happened around us in the present deserve to be featured in different news platforms. Only those that have impact or interest to the public are published. Remember that there is so much happening, but not everything has importance or relevance to the readers or viewers. What about the definitions of journalistic writing? We will continue with the definitions of journalistic writing when we get back. Stay tuned! Ang Schools Division Office City of San Fernando, Pampanga ay kaisa ng Department of Education sa pagsasagawa ng mga proyekto at programa na tumutugon sa mga pangangailangan ng mga mag-aaral. Inilunsad ang Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors upang magbigay ng educational at psychological assistance sa mga mag-aaral, magulang at stakeholders ng division. Kaya, kung may nais kayong itanong tungkol sa pag-aaral, maaaring magpadala ng mensahe sa Division Call Center for Tutors and Guidance Counselors Facebook page o tumawag sa mga numero na makikita sa ibaba ng inyong screen tuwing lunes hanggang biyernes sa ganap na alas 8 ng umaga hanggang alas 6 ng gabi. Maaari rin kayong sumangguni sa ating guidance counselors na nagbibigay ng guidance and counseling services. Lahat ng inyong ibabahagi ay mananatiling confidential. Ang nasabing programa ay nagsisilbing daan upang malaman ang feedbacks ng stakeholders para matulungan ng ating division na mapagbuti pa ang mga sumusunod na programa. Ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Tumawag na sa aming mga numero o bumisita na sa aming Facebook page at magpadala ng inyong mga katanungan. Fernandino Teens TV Hello again, Fernandino Teens. We were able to define journalism a while back. Let us continue with the formal and operational definitions of journalistic writing. Journalistic writing is the style of writing used to report news stories. The three areas in which journalistic writing may appear are Written, print, oral, and visual. Written or print journalism are found in periodicals such as newspapers, magazines, and journals. Oral journalism includes news reporting that is in radio programs or podcasts. Visual journalism examples are those that can be found on television news programs, flash reports, and even online news programs that are streamed in different platforms such as Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. During the previous quarters, you learned about different types of writing such as literary, academic, persuasive, argumentative, descriptive, and narrative writing. How does journalistic writing differ from all of those? The most important difference between journalism and other forms of nonfiction writing is the idea of objectivity. Journalists are expected to be objective at all times. Our keyword here is objective. How do journalists maintain objectivity? I can think of three concrete examples. One, they listen to all sides of the story. Two, they keep their biases to themselves. And three, they base their opinions, argumentations, and suggestions on facts and nothing but facts. Today, journalists may perform a number of different roles. They write traditional text-based pieces, film documentaries, record podcasts, create photo essays, run 24-hour TV broadcasts, and publish news through the internet. Why are these important to us? Collectively, these various journalistic media help members of the public 
learn what is happening in the world so they may make informed decisions. For me to check if we have concretized your ideas on journalism and journalistic writing and their importance, let us try doing this short activity. Read the following statements and identify if they are true or false. For those who are still with us in the live stream, you may comment a smiling emoji if you think that the statement is correct and a sad emoji if you think that it is incorrect. Let us begin. Statement number one. Journalistic writing is only found in newspapers. Is this true or false? This statement is false. You learned that there are different platforms in which journalistic writing may be published. Statement number two. Journalists are subjective in their articles. What do you think? This statement is false. Journalists are expected to be objective at all times. Statement number three. Everything that happens around us is newsworthy. Is this true or false? This is false. Only those that are relevant and are impactful to the lives of the readers are newsworthy. Statement number four. Journalistic writing is the same as essay writing. What is your idea? The answer is false. Journalistic writing is the type of writing used to report news on current events. Statement number five, journalism helps the public learn what is happening around them. Is it true or false? This statement is true because journalism helps the public in making informed decisions from the events that happen around them. Did you get the perfect score? I'm sure you did. Stay with me as we continue on with our lesson. Now, what makes an event newsworthy? Why is it that mass media outlets feature particular news stories prominently while others receive little, if any, coverage? News outlets must decide which events are worth covering and which events are not. The following is a brief overview of the news values that journalists continue to use today to evaluate the newsworthiness of potential stories coming from current events. The news values, or sometimes called elements of news, are based on these two models. Gatlong and Rouge model in 1973 and Schumacher et al. model in 1987. First is timeliness. New is a big part of news. If it happened just yesterday, it is bigger news than if it happened last week. Even big stories last only a week or so. News, like fish, is better fresh. Second is significance. When the impact of event is of great consequence to readers, then it is newsworthy. Example topic included in significance are war, justice, peace, development, and climate change. Third is prominence. The popularity of a person involved makes an event newsworthy. If it happens to the mayor, it is bigger news than if it happened to a janitor. This is also the element that makes events in the lives of celebrities reach us through news. Fourth is proximity. The closer an event takes place to the intended audience, the more important it is. This is why huge local stories might not make the national news. Fifth is conflict. A struggle between opposing forces makes news. Example stories that fall under conflict are sports, election, diseases, challenges, and controversies. 
And last is human interest. Special human attention is given to romance, adventures, oddity, numbers, and animals. These topics make good news. For example, the inspirational story of a person overcoming large odds to reach her goals appeal to the fundamental human interest. Are the elements that make a current event newsworthy familiar to you now? Remember the elements of news that we discuss so when you read, listen, or watch news programs, you know why such events that are featured are published through news platforms. I will introduce to you the four types of journalistic text after a short break. We'll be right back. Maya po oras kaya kayo, Fernandinos. Ako pala ay Elwin Alcerano ng City Tourism Office ng Ciudad San Fernando. Ngayon yung bulan na ini, pag masusyan tayo yung National Heritage Month na ating temang Victory and Humanity Upholding Filipino Heritage and Identity. Kambe na nini, metong karang aktibidades na ng siyudad apin ng launching ng Bayong Heritage Passport. Ng Heritage Passport apin ng metong karang proyekto ng kaya katamong siyudad yung pamin na muna ng Mayor Edwin D. Santiago. Anong nuka rin makalagelangan ding eganagan ng heritage sites, heritage structures, na akit tamo kin kaya katamong heritage district. Makakaya daw din kaya ni, ding importansya daw ding mapin na tradisyon, kaya ni syudad, kalupa na ning pamangawang parol, ang po yung pamangalesa. May ahos siyang heritage passport, uling atin kang dapat gawan, Anong nuka rin puntalan mula ding at syukin passport at saka ka mag-selfie kay ba't kanta palto making tourism office at mamiyalang sticker ka rin ega na ganang apuntulan mong lugar. At yung mga ngari ang tutong passport. Balumi nga ni, panahon na ini, eta mo makain bisa lumal uli na ning COVID-19 pandemic. Kaya naman kimbanwa nga ini, agkatan ko la ding bikers tamo edad 18 hanggang 50 Imbis na lumawot kayo po, di na nyo lang dita ka oras di kaya katamong heritage structures kaya ni Siudad. Anya naman ka rin mumunang 50 bikers ang makayari kaya kaya katamong heritage passport, may di na lang premium only San Fernando loot bag. Inggawan nyo mo bakang ta makapag-register, munta kayo mismo opisina na ng City Tourism, yung munisipyo, at saka kayo magdalang metong valid ID. Kabihan ninyo kaya yung heritage passport, ating makasipit ang instruction nung nano pa yung dapat gawan. Anya naman ka rin hanggang kapadyakin, na nano ko pa, tara na! TV. And you're back to Fernandino Teens TV. Previously, we discussed the definitions of journalism and journalistic writing, their importance to our daily lives, and the news values or the elements that make an event newsworthy. You are now ready to learn how to distinguish the four journalistic text types. A little warning though, Expect to read lengthy articles for this part of our discussion. For each article that we will read, we will identify the content and structure by answering these two questions. What is the article all about? How do you describe the kind of information and the manner by which the information was presented in the article? Are you ready? Let's begin. Join me as I read an excerpt of the first article entitled, Two More San Fernando Villages Drug Cleared by Princess Clea Arcelias. Two more barangays from the city of San Fernando, Pampanga, on Tuesday, June 8, 2021, were cleared from illegal drugs. This city's Chief of Police Lieutenant Colonel John Clark 
said the two new drug-cleared barangays are San Felipe and Santo Rosario. These brought the total number of drug-cleared barangays to a dozen or nearly 35% of the total 35 villages in the capital city, said Clark. Other villages already drug-cleared are Pandaras, Sagin, Pulong Bulu, Panipuan, Malino, San Isidro, San Juan, Lara, Juliana, and Santa Teresita. What is the article all about? It is about an additional two barangays in the city of San Fernando that are considered cleared from illegal drugs. How do you describe the kind of information and the manner by which the information was presented in the article? Basic information such as the event, places, and people involved were presented in a straightforward manner. The first example article that we read is an example of a news report. What is a news report? A news report is a journalism text type that is straightforward, accurate, and unbiased. In a news report, facts, specifically the five W's, who, what, where, when, why, and H, how, of the event are relayed without flourishes or interpretation. A typical news story often constitutes a headline with just enough explanation to orient the readers on what the article is all about. News stories lack the depth of a feature article or the questioning approach of an opinion article or editorial article. What is the first journalistic text type? It is a news report. Let us move on to an excerpt on article number two entitled Justice for Edwin Arnigo by Michelle Catap Lasson. Heartbreaking, inhumane, unjustifiable. As a mother to a child on the spectrum, I cannot simply digest the news involving an 18 year old boy with autism who was shot and killed by cops recently. Let this be a stern reminder to our authorities or those with the power to change the world and society for the benefit of people with special needs and various disabilities. This is the time to reflect and start deliberating on laws and enforcement mechanisms to empower and include these individuals because we have to remember that they are still part of our community. What is the article all about? It is a news story involving an 18-year-old boy with autism who was recently shot and killed by cops. How do you describe the kind of information and the manner by which the information was presented in the article? Aside from the event which was the beginning and basis of the article, opinions and insights were also presented in a suggestive manner. Article number two is an example of an opinion article, the second journalistic text type. As its name suggests, it includes the opinions of the writer about a current event. There are two types of opinion articles editorial articles and op-ed articles. An editorial is an opinion article that states the position of a publication's editorial board, which usually consists of top editors and opinion writers. This is also referred to as the voice of the newspaper. An op-ed, short for opposite editorial, on the other hand, is an opinionated article submitted to a newspaper for publication. They are written by members of the community, not newspaper employees. Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines it as an essay in a newspaper or magazine that gives the opinion of the writer and that is written by someone who is not employed by the newspaper or magazine. What is the second text type of journalistic writing? Very well, opinion article. Next is article number three. It is an excerpt from the article entitled Earth Day and the Arts by Ching Pangilinan. 
When the surge in COVID-19 cases in our province happened, the creative team together with the Save the Trees Coalition brainstormed and innovated with the virtual exhibit instead for this year's Aldoning Labuad. Participating virtual artists drew inspiration from the life and struggle of the 259 friendship trees brought to a new life in a myriad of media and interpretations. Notable Kapampangan artists, budding painters, and professionals contributed their best renditions for this one-of-a-kind virtual exhibit and art sale. What is the article all about? The article is about the virtual exhibit by artists together with STC for the celebration of Earth Day 2021. How do you describe the kind of information and the manner by which the information was presented in the article? Basic information such as the event, places, and people involved were presented in depth. The article Earth Day and the Arts is an example of a feature article, the third type of journalistic text. A feature article provides scope, depth, and interpretation of trends, events, topics, or people. Feature articles aim not only to thoroughly explore a topic, but to offer a previously unseen perspective on an event, issue, or person. Feature articles aim not only to thoroughly explore a topic, but to offer a previously unseen perspective on an event, issue, or person. Features usually have the highest word count of all journalism types. What is the third journalistic text type? Correct! Feature article. Last but not the least, let us read an excerpt for article number 4 entitled Biker Shine and Enlex Corporation's Lock Bike Na 365 Cycle by Charlene A. Kayabiab. Around 100 bikers have crossed the finish line of the Lock Bike Na 365 Cycle, a virtual sports event of the Enlex Corporation. Despite some setbacks due to travel restrictions, the participants were able to accomplish the 365-kilometer goal. The riders were given one month to complete the 365-kilometer distance, which they have tracked through the NLEX app partner, Stampede Races. Those who finished the cycle received the medal and a race kit, which includes the luck bike merchandise. Aside from having Luzon bikers, the event has also gained the participation of those in Visayas and Mindanao. What is the article all about? The article is about a sports event called Luck Bike Na 365 Cycle that was participated by around 100 bikers from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. How do you describe the kind of information and the manner by which the information was presented in the article? Basic information such as the sports event itself, participants, and sponsor were presented in a straightforward manner. Article number 4 is an example of a sports news article. The basic idea of a sports news article is to report about the local, national or international sporting events that are occurring. The manner of which a sports article is written is just like a news report. The only difference is the focus, which is a sporting event. A sports article writer should record the most important or exciting parts and the outcome of the game. Readers find these highlights the most interesting. What is the last journalistic text type? We call it a sports news article. The articles that we read are the four journalistic text types that are presented in a written manner. You may check out CLTV 36 different news programs for you to know how news reports, opinion articles, feature articles, and sports news articles are presented in mass media. Did you understand the discussion? I hope you did because I prepared a short assessment 
about distinguishing among text types of journalistic writing. We'll do it after a short break. Stay tuned for the last part of our lesson, Fernandina Teens. Magtanim ay di biro, pero para sa retired teacher na si Mang Tomas Gamboa, isa itong pangarap na matagal na niyang inaasam na anihin. Kaya naman sa 500 square meter lot na ito sa Florida Blanca, Pampanga, unti-unti niyang tinamnan at pinalago ang naipong kita sa mahigit 20 taon niyang pagtuturo. Kaya, tara na pasukin ang paraiso ng ating bidang guro. Welcome to Mate Garden Park, para... Mula sa makukulay na disenyo hanggang sa iba't ibang klase ng planting methods, makikita yan sa personal gulayan na tinawag nilang Modern Agriculture Farm Edition. Talaga namang binuhos ni Mang Tomas ang kanyang expertise sa pagtatanim at syempre, hindi mawawala ang pagiging resourceful ng ating resident planter. Yung paggamit ng mga material sa pagtatanim iba-iba. May plastic, may gulong, may sako, may borde, lahat ng klaseng borde na pwedeng gamitan, ginamit ko na. Experimental ang approach ni Mang Tomas, pero pagdating sa soil mixing, organic ang swak na soil mixture na approved sa ating green thumb. Pinagahalo lang ang saw soil, top soil, ipa, at carabal manure para sa optimum growth ng mga healthy veggies. Halos lahat pa ng mga gulay sa kantang bahay kubo, present din dito sa kanyang lupain. Kaya naman ang buong pamilya ni Mang Tomas, hanggang sa mga apo niya, enjoy sa pag-harvest at pag-aalaga ng Mafe Garden Farm na ipinangalan niya pa sa kanyang mga anak. Nakayo, siyempre, di ba, mahilig kayo magluto. Oh. Ano pong naging ambag nito? Uh, nung, mula nung tinay ito, natuto kami lagi mamasyal dito, lagi nagluto, dala-dala lang itong mga pagkain. Dito kami nagtitiknik. At itong mape na sinasabi, ito ay pag-aarit ang dalawa kong anak. Ibinibigay ko sa kanila. Legado. Ako ang magiging caretaker nila. Yung mape. Ang kalinga ng isang ama, ramdam hindi lang sa pamilya, kundi sa mga paninim niya. Kaya naman ngayong pandemya, make yourself busy, bawasan ang stress, at mas maging productive sa tulong ng pagtatanim para may dagdaghain na rin. Kaya para sa mga plantitos at plantitas na gustong i-level up ang planting skills, Papayo ko sa mga sa kong natalis, lalo sa mga teachers na hindi major ng agriculture, Pwede kayong kumuha ng background sa Facebook. Pangalawa, kung konti lang yung pera nyo na ipon, pwede kayong kumuha ng 200 to 300 square meter at pakonti-konti, pwede kayong magtanim. Na kinakailangan ng pang-araw-araw na gamitan sa kusina. At makakalibang pa sa pangsalili mo. Para sa Balita Pampanga, Gerald Gloton. Since TV. And we're back. I know that you are excited for the last activity of our lesson today. For me to know if you have achieved the goal for today, I will read five paragraphs that are excerpts from articles published by Sunstar Pampanga. What you need to do is to tell if the article is A. News report. B. Opinion article, C. 
feature article and D, sports news article. If you are watching with us through the live stream, comment the letter of your answer in the comment section. Are you ready? Let's begin. 1. In these times of hardship, a good soul discovers the innate ability to become a philanthropist. It does not matter if a person helps feed a small family or a whole community. What matters is that he gives sincerely, filling the pain of others, and actually cares enough about their needs. While it's rather more important for some to post or broadcast what they give, others tend to help anonymously. And these few who give or serve in silence are the type of modern heroes whom we should not forget. What journalistic text type is paragraph number one? Very good. Paragraph number one is part of an opinion article because the statements are opinions of the writer. Next is paragraph number two. The Department of Social Welfare and Development in Central Luzon and different research, education, and social welfare institutions formally signed a memorandum of agreement that institutionalizes the Social Welfare and Development Learning Network or SWDLNet in the region. SWDLNet is the coming together of different experts from different fields and is a center of professional development and capacity building. What journalistic text type is paragraph number two? Paragraph number two is part of a news report. It reports the basic information about the MOA for the SWDLNet in Region 3. Let's read paragraph number three. It is worthwhile to know that the leading technological companies such as Microsoft and Google are DepEd's active partner in advocating the use of technology in education in bringing these digital solutions not only to our teachers and students but also to the entire DepEd organization. I would like to quote George Koros, author of The Innovator's Mindset. He said, Technology will not replace great teachers, but technology in the hands of great teachers can be transformational. What journalistic text type is paragraph number three? Paragraph number three is part of an opinion article. It includes interpretation and opinions of the writer about the use of technology in education. Very good. Next is paragraph number four. Flavors of Pampanga, Manyaman will be held on May 28, Friday, in Clark, Pampanga, and will feature the region's diverse food heritage through cooking demonstrations of culinary experts, including chef de cuisines from hotels in Clark. The event will be streamed online through the DOT Region 3 official Facebook page, and the public is invited to be part of it. Pampanga is a leading proponent of culinary tourism in the Philippines. The desire to eat good food and immerse oneself in a culture through its cuisine is a powerful motivator for traveling, said Romulo Puyat. What journalistic text type is paragraph number four? Very good! Paragraph four is part of a feature article. It includes an in-depth discussion of the event, Flavors of Pampanga, Manyaman. Last but not the least, paragraph number five. The Clark Development Corporation has expressed excitement and elation to host the upcoming FIBA Asian Cup qualifiers on June 16 to 20, 2021. According to the state-owned corporation, Led by its president and chief executive officer, Manuel Gayerlan, the staging of the international competition will strengthen Clark's position as a preferred sports tourism destination not only in the country but also across the Asia-Pacific region. This is the last item. You're doing great so far. What journalistic text type is paragraph number five? 
If your answer is sports news article, then you got it correctly. It is a report about a sporting event that will happen in the province. I'm sure you got the perfect score for this one. Thank you for your eager and active participation. Let us summarize the main points of our discussion for today vis-a-vis -vis our goal. Journalistic writing is the style of writing that is intended in reporting news that has an impact on the lives of the public. This style of writing, unlike other types of writing, is found in publications such as newspapers, magazines, journals, radio, television, and even on the internet. Journalistic writing is important because it informs the public of what is happening around them and therefore helps them make informed decisions. There are six news values or elements that make an event newsworthy. These are timeliness, significance, prominence, proximity, conflict, and human interest. There are four general text types under journalistic writing. These are news reports, opinion articles, feature articles, and sports news articles. A news report presents the five W's and one H of an event. These are relayed without flourishes or interpretation. An opinion article, both editorial and op-ed, presents the objective opinions that are published in a newspaper or news program about current issues and trends. A feature article provides scope, depth, and interpretation of trends, events, topics, or people. Last but not the least, a sports news article includes report on the results, highlights, and play-by-plays of local, national, and international sports events. Before we end, let me convince you that journalistic writing plays an important role in our daily lives. Journalistic writing is important pre-COVID-19 but it is much more important right now that we are amidst a pandemic that requires us to stay in the comfort and safety of our own homes to be protected. Through journalistic writing, we get to know the important events that may affect our lives. It can also have an impact on the decisions that we have to make in our day-to-day -day activities. These are the references that we used in this episode. Once again, this has been Ma'am Elaine. Congratulations! You deserve a round of applause. Thank you so much for actively participating in today's discussion. I hope and pray that you learned something new from me today. See you again tomorrow for another meaningful and fun learning here in Fernandino Teens TV. Have a great day ahead. Bye, everyone! Ang galing naman ni Ma'am. May iba-iba pa lang uri ng pagbabalita. Oo nga. Natutunan natin na may news reports, opinion articles, feature articles, at sports news articles pala sa mga binabasa, pinakikinggan, at pinapanood natin mga balita. Tama. Totoo nga ang sinabi ni Ma'am na mahalaga ang journalism sa ating pang-araw-araw na gawain. Kaya naman, maraming, maraming salamat, salamat Ma'am! Ma Isa na namang makabuluhang talakayan ang ating natakayan, Fernandino Teens. Samahan niyo ulit kami sa susunod na episode ng... Fernandino Teens TV! Na kung saan ang kabataang Fernandino ay angat sa aking talito. Simulan mong abutin ang iyong pangarap Na magbibigay danga sa iyong bukas Ang suliranin, hindi laging nandyan Dapat mong harapin, kami iyong kasama sa bawat tak
akin Pagkaakbay nating lulutasin Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ang boses ko ay mahalaga Dito sa Fernandino Teens TV Ikaw lagi ang bida Ang mga Na siyang gagabay sa iyong pagkamulat Naway umukit ito sa iyong isipan Maging mapanuri Sundin ang wasto at naranasan